Um, let's look at the buffer capacity comparisons with different quantities. Um, here the log bead occurs for the open system. Here's the open system beta capacity between pH 6.5 and, and 10. Let's go back to this graph here. So we're looking at beta between 6.5 and, and 10. So that's this linear region over here. We've expanded that over here and we've put the beta capacity there. And we're comparing it to the buffer capacity of other species. For example, uh, this is the buffer capacity for calcium carbonate. So we see that calcium carbonate has a bloody good buffer capacity. It decreases and then becomes pretty much the same as the carbonate open system. Feldspar. This is a feldspar kaolinite system. That's even better. We'll see why that is in a second as a buffer. Basically dis dis dissolved clay. Very good buffer and then it becomes less at very high pH. And uh, here is the buffer capacity of the closed system. So the closed system has a better buffer capacity until about that stage and then the open system becomes a much better buffer capacity. This is not to say that the open system is, not, is always useful. I mean, the closed system is probably more appropriate for systems which are deeply underwater which aren't exposed to the atmosphere so you have to be careful with uh, what situation you want to use open system type arguments or closed system type arguments.